Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you this tool uh, that allows you to adjust all assignment dates on one page in Canvas. And this was created by James Jones. I discovered it in the Canvas uh, forums, I guess, and it's pretty fantastic. So what you need to do is go into your Canvas, and this is the particular class I want to change the dates on. And normally in Canvas, you have to actually go into the course and click in each assignment, edit all the dates. It's very tedious, but this tool lets you do it. It's pretty amazing, all on one page. So step one, you're going to click on Account, and then you're going to click Settings. And from here, you're going to scroll to the bottom and you're going to click this blue button that says new access token and then you you can name it here if you want I'm just going to call this um, one page but you could call it adjust all whatever you want to call it and I'm not going to put a expiration date in there and then I'm going to click generate token and here is my token. This is what you need to copy here. This long thing. I'm going to actually blur it out in this video, but it's basically a long thing of numbers and letters. So you're going to copy that. Then what you're going to do is go to the following URL. And I will paste it in the description because that's too much to say. <laughs> and then once you're in this Google spreadsheet, you're going to click File and make a copy. And here you can rename it. By the way, you need to have a Google account to do this. So just keep that in mind and preferably be in Google Chrome. So here I'm going to name this uh, one page again. But I suggest naming it something that you know what it is. So, And then click OK. That's going to open it in my Google account. Next you're going to click on File and Spreadsheet Settings. And this is the one you want to change. So if you're in Pacific, you're going to change this time zone here. So we'll pick uh, Pacific time, save settings. And you're going to see this little tab here that says Canvas. We'll click that. And then configure API settings. Then it's going to ask for authorization. So we'll click continue. And it's going to ask me to choose a Google account, so I'll pick my Google account here, and then allow. Here we are at the API configuration. This Canvas host name, this is going to be for the LA Community College District. It's going to be ilearn.laccd.edu. And then right here, access token, here's where you're going to paste that really long mix of letters and numbers that you got when you generated the token. So we'll paste that. Then you click Submit. And if it gives you this, click Never if it wants you to save it. And then you should see a little message like this saying Success. So we'll click OK. And again, this is, you only have to do that kind of setup stuff once. Once it's set up and connected, it shouldn't be an issue anymore. So now we've connected this spreadsheet to Canvas. And the next thing you need to do is go into your Canvas account and find a course that you want to adjust all the dates. And for me, that was this May Canvas training. So I'm actually going to click on that course and here's the number you would need so on your course every canvas course has this unique number you copy this number in the URL go back to the Google sheet 
and click on Canvas and specify course. Okay, and then when this box opens, you're going to paste that little number in and click OK. And it's going to ask you if this is the right class. I can tell it's the right class because it's got the name of my class. So I'm going to click Yes. And here is all of my assignments in that class and the due dates. And if you had other dates, like your available from and until dates, your show answers and hide answers and your quizzes, um, those dates would all come into this Google Doc as well. And it also has the times here, the due date times. But um, to make things easier, you can go to Canvas again and you're going to hide times because most of the time you're not really going to change the times in your course like the you, the dates you'll change but not the the due time will probably always be 11:59 or whatever however you have it so now you can go through these dates and change them you just double click on them and you'll get the calendar and this was originally in May 2017. Let's say I was going to do the same class in 2018. You could do that. You could go to May 2018, pick a date, and down the list. Go down the list. And um, it does give me this, viol uh, this validation warning. This just means that I picked a date that's outside of what my open and close dates for the actual course in Canvas are. So that's just a warning there. It's still going to change these dates, but if you see this, it just means you probably picked a date that falls outside of your term settings. That's a kind of a quick way to say that. So you can see I've for assignment one, I've changed it to 2018. Uh, I'm not going to do the rest. Actually, just for fun, let's make it all. Let's make them all that same date, just for this demo. So there, everything's going to now be due on the 14th of May, 2018. And just to show you how cool this is, I'll go back in the sites, go into my assignments. Here's all my assignment due dates. So these are all May 16th, right? And if we went deeper in, you could see the year, but I just want you to see this before I make the change. Here's my change dates, right? And if I click on Canvas again and save due dates, okay, now we go back here. I'm going to refresh the page. And look how cool that is. Now it's all 2018 dates, all the way down. I didn't have to click inside each assignment, each discussion, each quiz. They all have, except for this one, they all have the, uh, the updated due dates. And I did it all on this Google Sheet. So I thought, I thought that was really cool. And again, I can go back to this Google Sheet. Now that I've set it up once, if I wanted to do a different class, I would just need to find uh, that little course number, I guess you call it, in Canvas. Um, and then I can load up and, and do it for another course. So here's a test site. If I wanted to do it for this, I would just copy this number, go back into this sheet, and go to Specify Course and repeat that. So you don't have to do all that other stuff to set it up. Uh, once it's set up, you can use it for all your classes, which is pretty amazing. So I just wanted to share this with you. Sorry for the long video. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.